Hello there. So what's better than the refreshing taste of a pomegranate or black cherries? Nothing, except maybe a wonderful Persian mule. Pomegranates and black cherries have been the national fruits of Iran for thousands of years. Now they're a great way for you to kick your Moscow mules up a notch higher. So stick around, and when we come back, I'll show you how to make a Persian mule on today's Cocktail Minute. Well, welcome back, friends. So now we're going to make a Persian mule for you. So uh, when I originally started making Persian mules, I actually used to extract juice from pomegranate seeds and cherries, fresh in season and frozen cherries um, out of season. And this was a great source of entertainment for my wife and kid. So a lot of work, obviously, but very tasty. So one day at the grocery store, I noticed the famous palm brand, pomegranate juice, has a palm cherry um, product. So I brought that home and tried it in the Persian mule, and it's perfect. So I recommend it. It's a good product. Now, the other thing that gives our Persian mule a very um, distinctive depth of ginger flavor is a ginger liqueur. There are many brands of ginger liqueur. This French product which is Domaine Canton, is one that's really, really good, and I recommend it. Now, the next thing that gives uh, our Persian mule a distinctive flavor is sour cherry syrup. Now, this is also a Persian tradition. It, it kind of deepens the cherry flavor of the drink, and this one is an Eastern European product. You can find it in Middle Eastern and uh, Mediterranean stores are different brands. So chow sour cherry syrup is, is what you need. Now, last but certainly not least, as you may know, every mule cocktail has to be topped and finished with a non-alcoholic ginger beer splash on top. So Fever Tree is by far the most um, quality premium ginger beer out there, and it, it has an extra spicy kick that makes this drink, and any mule anyways, wonderful. And, and we recommend it highly. Now, as I always say, no, I swear, none of these branded products have paid me any financial considerations. And by golly, I hope they're listening and will give me a call. I'm waiting. So, let's make a Persian mule, right? First thing you do, like any mule, you are going to uh, muddle some fresh lime. Just chop it up little pieces of lime in your mixing glass and you use a muddler and you just extract as much of the juice and the essence of the lime skin as you can. So this is what it's going to look like inside. Okay. So over that goes your vodka, ginger liqueur, and the measurements are going to be listed the recipe at the end of this video in the comments uh, in, on YouTube, Facebook, wherever you see this video, you will have access to the recipe. Uh, bar simple, simple syrup, which is nothing but sugar water. The palm and cherry juice mix, either fresh extracted or the palm brand. And the wonderful sour cherry syrup. Now, you do put some ice on it when you're shaking it because you want it to be chilled, of course. So we give that about 20 seconds of shake. So now I recommend frozen glasses. Here at Cafe Bagheri, we keep our cocktail glasses always frozen. It has a better presentation and keeps your drinks chilled. So, put some ice in there, and you go about two thirds of a glass, depending on how you like it. Eventually, you're going to find out how much drink and how much ginger liqueur, ginger uh, beer you like.
and then you get your ginger beer and you just top it off. Now, of course, like any mule, the Persian mule has to be served with a squeeze of lime on the top. And there you have it, your wonderful Persian mule. Cheers, drink responsibly, and I hope to see you at our next Cocktail Minute here at Cafe Bagheri.